good morning everyone welcome back um on the back out on the uh main river section of the uh the river neen um so i've made a sort of early start today sort of out of about sort of um just now about an hour before sunrise um just trying to see if i can um pick up one of these tricky uh main water barbel um got both rods out now which is a bit tricky um, so light wasn't that great so hair rigging um, wasn't that easy so anyway both rods are out the plan is to uh, to stay here probably for a couple of hours to see if I can pick a fish up and then um, I'm going to move into one of the backwaters so it's a beautiful morning clear skies um, mist down there on the river looks absolutely fantastic so yeah I think uh, for probably a half hour here is probably my uh, my sort of prime um, time for a bite but you know I've picked up barbel here on the on the main river in the daytime bright sunshine so I'm gonna sort of hack it out for a, for a couple of hours see how we get on um, yeah bait wise I've got um, I've got a D liver on the left hand rod and I've got a redemption black on the right hand rod so um, dumbbells both um, wrapped in matching paste um, so I guess it's just uh, just hoping that, that one of them actually um, rockets off so anyway we'll see how things go um, uh, just uh, I was wondering where the cows have gone from the field didn't come across any this morning I believe they're over there so it's quite handy yeah it's a beautiful morning it's due to be about 23 today so it's going to get hot so um, probably going to start to about midday and then head back and um, come out later on in the day so anyway see how things go right little update um yeah nothing as of yet sort of I've, i was fishing in uh, thick weed so i'm not the best so i sort of cast to a few different spots and give them a try the drop felt okay but not really convinced um so i'm just dead my sort of last cast where i am at the moment and now i'm gonna i'm just gonna move off um probably in about half an hour if nothing happens so i think i'll sort of my chances here are they're probably like fate and the sun starting to come up now so I'll move on to the, uh, the back water and see if I can spot a few fish um, up there and see if I can um, trip one of them up so yeah it's, it's quite it's quite nippy but I imagine sort of as soon as the sun starts to rise it's going to warm up but yeah it's surprising how um, how chilly it's getting now in the mornings but there's one other guy um, that walked down I think he probably wanted to fish where I'm fishing um, but yeah he turned back so he's he's a little bit further up the river so um, yeah I'll check with him I haven't seen him catch anything but I'll keep an eye on it and hopefully one of us will catch at some point so anyway let's see how it goes Okay, so I've made a move, um, nothing in the last area, so I've moved on to the backwater. So I've seen a couple of anglers here, so um, squeezed into one of my uh, one of my favourite areas. So um, yeah, let's see what this produces. Um, it's quite. I, I thought the river would be clearer, but it looks quite um, quite cloudy this morning. So I don't know if they're they're sort of flushing a bit of water through, but. Yeah, it's hard to spot um, spot fish and look in at the moment because the sun's behind um, sun's behind me and it's quite it's quite low at the moment as well. So it's really hard to sort of get a good view in the in the river. So put um, put a bait out um, in in, a, in one of the spots and um, fingers crossed. Uh, see what happens. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm in swim number, I think it's three or four now, so I've uh, had a couple of uh, stop offs in swims on the back water. Um, last one I did, I don't think I took any footage of it, um, enough to chat, so. Um, and then, yeah, I've just sort of come to um, an area, I don't think it's a fish that's m that much, um, it's like someone's flattened a lot of the <clears throat> the bankside vegetation down now so um, I fished in here uh, once before uh, once or twice before uh, it looks really nice it's the sort of deep hole to the left and it shallows up and it's lots of stream away so really um, really great looking area and I have seen fish um, just a little bit further downstream uh, or so if they're here hopefully they'll, they'll be moving up and down the river so um, yeah, sort of going to give it maybe 15, 20 minutes here and then just move a, a little bit further downstream and there's no bang um, that I can sort of fish under. I've had, had one out of there before so I'm going to give that a little shot as well. Um, really hard to see in the water, it's quite, it's actually got quite choppy out so it was due to be um, quite quite hot today, I'd say quite hot, it's about 23 there was forecasting, um, but it's clouded over um, and it's not particularly warm. It's, it's quite a breeze as well, so seeing through and into the, the water, um, it's not that, not that easy now, so it's a bit of a chop on, um, plus there's a bit of colour, so I'm sort of um, just trying to drop off in spots that, I've, you know, I've sort of seen fish or caught fish from before, um, just have a little stop off in those and see if I can um, pick one up, so let's see how this goes. Right, so we've got a fish on, I don't know what it is. It looks like a looks like a barbell. Bit of a surprise take there, come out the blue. big platform of weed on as well. I think where it's ran, it's just ran through a load of weed and now I'm, I'm sort of attached to that as well as the fish, I hope. Yeah, I can still feel the fish. Problem with fishing in such a weedy swim. I think it's inevitable that when you hook one, it's the, just going to belt into the weed. Although I can't feel it at the moment. Let's put a different angle on this. Yeah, the fish has gone right into the edge here. Let me see if I can go downstream on the budget. Slack. Oh, a little little pool then. Mm. 
a bit of movement then. Come on. And again. Two otters just swimming up this back water here. I don't know if they've gone on the bank. Look at that. Not sure if this thing's going to chance its luck. Oh. Moving out a bit. Oh, yes. Oh. Right, next swim is literally just down the bank, so um, just had to cross, cross the fence. Um, and yeah, it's just literally, uh, there's, the swim lot's open to sort of go to. It's just thick um, nettles and there's quite a bit of um, there's quite a bit of weed out in front as well, so I've just sort of come a little bit further upstream, um, and yeah, just slightly in here, so I've just popped it just down to my right. It's quite deep, um, got a good good little donk when uh, when it dropped as well. Because sort of, I am fishing in a lot of um, cabbage and so on, so um, it's a bit hit and miss whether I get a, a good sort of lie on the on the bottom. Um, but yeah, just absolutely gutted to lose that fish. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things. It's it sort of went down into the right, and it was just solid in there. And then I sort of came downstream from it, and was, I could feel it moving. It's probably the hook link just just shredding actually. I'm um, thinking about, it. and I saw the fish just it turned and flapped, and then that was it. The hook link went. So let's hope the fish is. Uh, uh, the, the mouth isn't damaged and, and someone catches it and removes that hook because yeah it's a uh, it's horrible leaving a hook in it um i hate that but it does happen um you know so i haven't had it happen um a lot um but yeah just just gutted really so anyway um hopefully uh there's some fish just further a little bit further down in front of me so i'm going to go and give it about 20 minutes here and maybe go into one more swim and then that's it for the for the morning so anyway let's hope that rod slams around again i can actually uh, land one this time so uh, last swim for the day um yeah i had a few sort of rattles in the last swim 
Um, yeah, I suspect it was Chubb just, just pecking at the bait. Um, but yeah, that's that's really it. Looks like uh, there's still a chance. So I'm just sort of hoping that there's a fish just sitting down there, down in this little deep corner. Um, anyway, it's been a nice morning. Um, but it's going to be blazing hot sunshine, which, which it hasn't. It's been quite a bit of cloud, but it's starting to thin out a bit now. So I think it's going to start to to warm up as the day goes by. So um, packing up shortly, make the walk back to the car, go and get some lunch and. Um, get a bit refreshed and then back out this evening so let's see how that goes